Yo, what's up, guys? We are Chop Anime, three of the almighty Chop Anime. We're back to chop up another anime with you. Demon Slayer, episode three of season two. And these three boys are supposed to be pretending to be girls, but they were showing their cojones this episode. Zenetsu grabbing the upper six by the arm. This guy, uh, Inosuke, he was on a mission. Sherlock Holmes threw out the building, punching through walls. And Tanjiro is Mary Poppins. I didn't know that he would be the best, you know, <laughs> the, the best little prostitute you could uh, buy, man. <laughs> what you guys think of that episode? I, well, I just got to say, Anosuke is just too pretty, yo. Like, this <laughs> dude, like, I don't know why this dude living in the mountains is just so pretty looking. It's just crazy. But, yeah, yo, Zenitsu, Zenitsu was about to go off. Like, I mean, he would have got killed easily, <laughs> but he could have gotten off. I almost thought that he was going to, like, get knocked out, become unconscious. Then he was going to whip out that super fast, like, you know, <laughs> thing on it. I was like, yo, that would be tough. Um, but that, I guess that would have been too soon in this uh, this season. Although, um, I think it might be a quick season since they're already, like, you know, finding out clues and stuff like that. Uh yeah, you know, it's so Inosuke found out some clues about the, the girl that he was trying to find as well. The demon apparently like was going through the ceilings. It didn't seem like that was the upper six, though, although it sounded like the upper six's voice. Maybe it was. I don't know, because it immediately transitioned to the other scene. So that was just kind of confusing a little bit. Uh, I don't know if Amoya, you have some intel on that. Yeah. What, 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 is, is that the same demon, Amoya? Yeah, so the the upper six, she she's she mainly has to do with those cloth, right? And that's what was kind of going through the buildings or through the. We, so we I, saw I, that. It, it was we still it was still the same upper moon. Okay. Okay. So yeah. that is okay. All right. Yeah, because we saw the cloths in the flashback when she killed the the lady that dropped down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That has mainly to do with her, with her demon art, which I'm sure we will see as the episodes mm-hmm. kind of go along. What what exactly powers, you know, those those pieces of cloth possess. Uh overall, I think good episode, you know. Like like you said, main characters are getting closer and closer. At this point, I think, you know, Inosuke doesn't know who the demon is, but Zenitsu clearly knows that this this thing he's he's up against is the demon and he he also understands it's a powerful one too so that's why he's scared but hey big cojones he's holding on got he zenitsu you know he, he give his life to protect the pride of the lady you know, yeah it, it, it don't matter like what it is but now nah, I'm, I'm glad we're starting to get some backstories i will say you know in this episode uh, in this whole like um next arcs till the ending we'll get a lot of background on uh the demons also right because these are the upper moon so we'll definitely get a background on how they got started and what their story was in terms of how they became demons and Mm -hmm. what is still going on so so the episode reveals that the upper moon is number six right Mm -hmm. six one so uh flamboyant hashra caught a break man (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he got a break man we yeah i was when i saw the six i said you know what she's still strong but you know they can beat this one they can manage this so yeah. Yeah. i i have high hopes for the uh for what's to come one thing interesting is that so when the interacting interaction was moves on um well I'll, I'll get to more of the interaction later but one of the things said was that you've killed, I think, seven Hashira in the past from me before. And she was yeah. just, uh, she's the upper six. So I was like, do the other upper moons, have they killed a lot more? You know, or is she just that good at killing Hashira? Is she just seductive to lure them in and kill them? You know, clearly she got something going on here. No. So, Yo, what if all the Hashiras are freaks, bro? And they go to, <laughs> and all the ones that die. <laughs> Trying to get go get boys. jiggy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like that's that's usually how the whole like 
soldier you know warrior arc really happens right you know you gotta go do your thing you gotta release the stress other ways too you <laughs> but know? a hashira should be able to i mean they clearly said a hashira can tell right if that's you know like i mean i zenitsu was able to tell that she was clearly like a strong demon sometimes right. you know you fall for the booby trap so yeah the booby trap you can't help yourself uh here's what i'll say man i think i think it's a little bit of both i think upper moons have probably killed around that number definitely more as you go up above the ranks because there's no way you've existed for hundreds of years and you know stories spread so of course they're gonna send lower levels they're gonna die and then hashiras are gonna eventually have to come investigate whatever activity is going on yeah and and you know it's been hundreds of years so there's no way that you know it, it, that they don't run into at least a handful if not more yeah. throughout their years yeah but muzan seemed impressed with the hard body count of hashiras i say that maybe it's because akasa just got caught an l kind of a slight l from one but like muzan seemed like you know like he trusted her to kill the hashiras but it like like because of her track record so mm-hmm. yeah that's that was kind of the vibe i was getting from there like she's really good at killing hashiras and i would imagine that hashiras who have died only die from some sort of upper demon hashiras the hashiras we've seen so far they're too strong for any other demon that's not mm-hmm. an upper so that's what i would imagine or they and just especially die. upper six right <laughs> that's what i mean the yeah, upper six yeah because so, yeah. because lower six was easy work they, yeah they were easy work. came in there said and all right buddy time to go to sleep yeah <laughs> the they just retire because we know three retired hashira we know one retired oh the other guys are his uh the, the, guy, uh, who the, trained, flame, the guy who the trained the guy who hashira he yeah. used to be he used to be the water hashira then we had the flame hashira uh uh rengoku's dad Rengoku's that retired. then zenitsu's grandfather was oh, a I former hashira. he was a former okay. hashira too okay cool yeah huh so they never ran into some of these upper sixes maybe they didn't it seems like running into a upper six or running into a hashira is not as common as we would think so it makes me wonder what a Hashira is doing all the time. I mean, it depends. Like if you if you're a Hashira and you clearly know that you ain't gonna beat this demon, I would just run. <laughs> I know that's not my job. I would try my best to protect everybody. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, so <laughs> y'all don't, y'all don't pay me enough to die. <laughs> <laughs> there could be oh, some. Man. There could be some other people I could be saving as well. Yeah. So I don't know. So I mean, really, you just, you just gotta hold him out. You just gotta hold him out till the sun comes up. <laughs> or maybe really- Hashiras just don't worry at night. Actually, that wouldn't make sense because the demons are out at night. They have but, to worry at night. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, numbers, right? We let's let's talk numbers. I mean, you 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 only have handful of these people, you know, like Hashiras and Upper Moons out of millions of people so the percentage is already low and it seems like the upper moons really kind of keep a low profile they're they're right. they've survived right. too long to like i guess really do anything rash or stupid where they're just like eating people broad you know mill of the you know cities just eating everybody because clearly <laughs> you know we have not seen that out of any of the upper moons where they're like uncontrollably just going on rampages like some of the like lower demons right like we always see them like they get caught because they're so stupid with whatever they do so people are like hey there's some weird missing things going on you know mm-hmm. yeah it seemed like muzan was never worried about the hashira anyway Right. That was never part of his mission, so he probably never instructed. He probably doesn't normally instruct them to go hunting Hashira anyway. So, I mean, I don't Muzan think it bothers himself, him enough. Yeah, even Muzan himself keeps a low profile. Right. right. So I guess we should talk about Zenetsu being captured. But at the end of the episode, there's a scene where uh, Zenetsu wakes up and he talks to the three little girls that he protected, and he's like, you know, celebrating what he did, and then. Upper six comes down with the ropes and the curtains and wraps them up and grabs them. 
So that leads us to wonder how long is it going to take until someone finds Makio and Zenetsu? Is it going to be Inosuke? Because he's kind of already on the trail. Or is it going to be Tanjiro because he has that nose? If Tanjiro was in that house, he would, if he was anywhere near that house, he would figure out that demon so quickly just because of his nose. Yeah. So who do you guys I, think going to get there first? Anosuke has already gotten in that sensing pose. You know, <laughs> you know, he, you know, he might, he might be, he might be there. <laughs> but I, I wish that she grabbed him when he was asleep, though. Was any, yeah. When he was asleep, then, he, then he'd be fighting. Yeah. He would have got she, you know, he would have gotten away quick. She might not have caught him after that. So let's, bro. I honestly do wonder, like, is anybody actually stronger than him with him in his sleep? Like, because he really is like dummy unstoppable in his sleep, bro. He is. I've really never bad. seen him get touched. Like, I don't so. think he's. I don't think he's that op when he's in his sleep form because he had to use the six fold technique just to beat. Like uh, the one dude, episode 19 or whatever, Demon Slayer, maybe it was like a little earlier. Uh, like his big fight, his big fight at the end yeah. of season one. So, and that seemed to be pushing it, but I don't know. So that's our review of episode three of Demon Slayer season two. Uh, we're excited to see what happens in the next episode. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, We'll be back next week with another review of episode four. Chop anime.